Welcome to An Aliyah a Day by B'nai Abraham. The Struggle for Authority Lessons from Korach's Rebellion In the first Aliyah of Parshat Korach, we encounter the dramatic rebellion led by Korach against the authority of Moshe and Aharon. Korach, accompanied by his followers, challenges the leadership of Moshe and Aharon, accusing them of power hoarding. They question why Moshe and Aharon elevate themselves above the rest of the congregation, asserting that the entire assembly is holy and that the presence of God is among them. This act of rebellion holds a significant historical and spiritual context. As Rebbe Nachman of Breslev beautifully teaches, the conflict and strife that permeate the world trace back to the blemish caused by Adam's consumption of the forbidden fruit. It is said, because Adam blemished by eating from the tree, he drew blemish and conflict into his seed. This original conflict between Cain and Abel, Adam's sons, serves as the precursor to all subsequent disputes and challenges, particularly those directed against the righteous individuals, the Tzadikim. Thus, the rebellion of Korach can be seen as an extension of this ongoing cycle of discord. In an effort to address the rebellion, Moshe proposes a test to determine who is truly worthy of the role of high priest. Each participant, including Korach and his followers, would bring an incense offering to the tabernacle, and God himself would reveal his chosen one for the priesthood. Despite Moshe's attempt to reconcile with the dissident group, they stubbornly insist on participating in this test, unaware of the dire consequences that would follow. This narrative imparts profound lessons about the perils of jealousy, power struggles, and significance of accepting God's chosen leaders. Rebbe Nachman's exact words resonate with wisdom. Their argument was the forerunner of all strife and conflicts to come, especially those against the Tzadikim. Korach's rebellion stands as a cautionary tale, reminding us of the destructive nature of internal strife and emphasizing the need to cultivate humility, unity, and reverence for divinely appointed authority. As we delve into the events of Parsha Korach, let us reflect upon these timeless teachings. May we strive to break free from the cycle of conflict and division, embracing a path of unity, harmony, and respect. By honoring and supporting our chosen leaders, we contribute to the creation of a community that thrives in righteousness, and brings blessings to all who dwell within it.